that in all things God may be glorified. The preceding documentary was produced in the fall of 2005. Since that time, the monks have made significant progress in their material goals. Construction of the residence building has been completed, and in January 2008, the monks began the long process of moving from their barns and sheds to the new residence. If I had to characterize these last four months, I would say uh, the kind of activity that uh, a family would know moving in. Lots of activity uh, that pulls you together and which establishes life in a place, in a house. The monks have enjoyed living in their new space, which is more suited to the monastic life. The first principle of the buildings really is the spiritual reality at the heart of it all, and that requires a certain uh, peace, a certain separation from the world, from the busyness of the world, and you have to have quite a few number of room, have quite a few rooms, which we call cells for the monks. You have to have the conventional places, the, the chapter room, the refectory, and uh, for that all to uh, fit into the harmony of a real Benedictine abbey, such as existed in the Middle Ages, it takes quite a, a bit of space. But the monastery residence, which we just dedicated, now provides. Um, some orderliness there. Each monk has his own cell, and um, uh, th there's a there's now a fitting dining room where they can eat. You know, it's just a matter of experience over the centuries how to how to make a place that is uh, conducive to the contemplative life. That's what we're trying to do here, and it's already working. We already find the new building is helping us a lot in this way. The official blessing ceremony for the new residence took place on April 12, 2008. More than 700 people came from across the country and overseas for the event. Most Reverend Edward J. Slattery, Bishop of Tulsa, began the day by celebrating a pontifical high mass in the crypt church. Following the Mass was the solemn blessing of the new residence building. After the ceremonies, there was an open house for all the visitors. This occasion was the single opportunity for the public to view the new facilities within the enclosure. The monks spent the afternoon giving tours of the residence, as well as visiting with friends and family on this special occasion. Now that the monks have a suitable place in which to live, they are ready to begin the next phase of construction, even the most important phase, the abbatial church. We sing the divine praises, we need a church. And so you have to have this beautiful space for God that sort of uh, inspires souls to chant the praises of God. And uh, that church needs to be surrounded by buildings that sort of assist, you know, uh, everything you do in the church. The church was in a barn, you know, before, a metal barn. Now we're 
not quite in church yet. We're in the crypt of the future church, but it's, it's well proportioned and you can sing in there well. It's a bigger. So just the whole atmosphere. It's very important. It's like your habit, really. You know, um, you're not. Habit doesn't make the monk, but it certainly helps, and so do monastic buildings. It is the goal of the monks to build a monastery that will last a thousand years. In less than ten years, they have already achieved a great deal. But there is still much work to be done. We hope to start the church, if we're very lucky, or very blessed, in a year. Uh, might be more like two years. We already need, we're already packed. We're going to start putting sheds out for some of the monks very soon, probably. So we really need another building, uh, living quarters building, but we want to build the church first. It's just, that's the center of the life here. They still need to raise a lot of money for the, uh, for the church. And the church is going to be big and beautiful. And, uh, and I think that um, any donor who, is com who, who experiences what the monks uh, have to offer to them, as well as to everyone else, uh, they will experience a joy when they give their first gift. I promise, if they give it for the right reason and they give it uh, generously, they uh, will experience a joy of the heart that uh, they have contributed to, to the spirituality of the world, really. Um, and they're going to give again. Oh.